Hi, so this is a brief foreword on this video um, because it's not really much, but it's enough. So very brief story. This is probably one of the nicest happy accidents um, I've ever come across. I was in the vicinity of Martin and I was looking for a specific location. As a recording of this video, I've still not found it. So this is kind of like round two. I needed a drink and I thought, okay, well, I'll just park up in the car park and... <clears throat> completely was oblivious as when I was driving in but when I when I was walking out to go to the village shop which is sort of just around the corner because I'm in margin car park right now it's just too too windy out there now I was like well okay this is like a little stock scene that's kind of quite cute it's kind of like you know interesting and then I just saw the, the air raid siren which is right next to it obviously how could you miss that and then I saw the pipeline and weirdly enough I'd recognized it before I've seen I've seen that uh, specific thing before and it was the Pluto pipeline which if you know your World War II history it's kind of a really interesting integral part of something that people overlook and how important it was you know um, and yeah so happy accident so all I want to say is it's really encouraging that you get villages that openly address their history in a really easy way an accessible way for a lot of people now I know that uh, there are other villages that do it like uh just one time i had rootum village does uh, the rootum historical society and they're very passionate about it um and i admire them greatly for doing it and i think that's fantastic um and marden they've got these for example they've got these bits of history that are easily accessible for you to look at and it's just a lovely happy accident for somebody who's never really i don't really go this way really in kent because it's kind of in the middle of literally nowhere now normally as a historical lover that's kind of like the perfect place because it's normally the, the place hence why i'm looking for this certain specific thing but um normally it's quite a nice thing if it's in the middle of nowhere because normally that's the sort of undiscovered the golden golden circle of undiscovered stuff and yeah i just want to say if you live in marden um well done because you've done a fantastic job of just preserving little bits of identity for history and i really appreciate that and i think more villages should openly make it accessible because i'm not saying that villages don't but i think more villages could make it accessible and at the end of the day our history is important as we all know because we need to learn from the past to move onwards and we know also as uh, historical lovers that our history is becoming less accessible and it's becoming more put on the internet hi youtube <laughs> um for people to discover which is great but however for me as i've always said in my channel the idea is that we go out and explore it we feel it we touch it we create our imaginations go wild and and we do all these wonderful uh things that we do because it's great storytelling at the end of the day isn't it you know like what did you do at your weekend? Oh, I went to Sainsbury's. Oh, okay, right. What did you do at the weekend? Well, I kind of went to this really nice remote village in the middle of Kent called Marden, and we sort of saw these nice little bits of history things and kind of got excited and we went to a local pub. And you know what I mean? So it's a good little, it's a good little day out for discussion. Anyway, please enjoy. Sorry about the wind. Like I said, it's just one of these sort of summery days where it's lovely because you get a bit of wind cooling on your face but however it's just a bit nightmare recording so again i apologize for that try to do the best i can in editing but hey enjoy see you later bye
So I'm in the centre of uh, Marden itself, um, by the car park actually, and I come I came across this before uh, by pure fluke. And I just wanted to show you it because it's really cool. It's something you should all go check out if you're in Marden Way, sort of near between Maidstone and Tom Wells. But yeah. So this, if you didn't read it, finger of doom, is a bit of actually Pluto, which was the pipeline that went all the way to help our soldiers. Well, it just says it on there, doesn't it? All the way through to the channel. Oh, there you go. Section in 1944 was the petrol pipeline, which crossed Marden Parish. There you go. To the Isle of Grain, Dungeon S, which we've seen before. In fact, I can take you to that place at some point. Uh, all the way to Bologna. There you go. And this is actually a bit of it underneath. How cool is that? They ripped a bit of it up. Um, and then this is really cool. This is a, the original air raid siren we've got. How cool is that? So the original air raid siren during the Second World War. There you go. How amazing. I'm not sure if you can read that. And then these are the stocks. Modern stocks. These are recreated ones. I don't know if you can see that image. Probably not. But it's a replica of the original ones which were in the 14th century. How cool is that? Just three bits of just incredible history really. So yeah. I thought I'd just show you all that. Well done Marden. Brilliant job. 